corn, maize, isn't a pigeon food. After the breeding season, we lift the floor grapes when giving the loft a thorough cleaning. Often, we sweep up a half bag of corn. And last year, during those hot summer weeks, the birds lost their appetite. They left the corn in the feeders. What could possibly be wrong with the corn? Does it belong in a good pigeon mix? And then I often hear fanciers say that corn is the best pigeon food. When opening a bag of feed, it is the corn that first catches our eye. Is that right? Yes, that is a good question, and actually it's simple to answer. In the first instance, we were talking about breeding. In many breeding mixes, there is simply too much corn. The breeders will not eat all of it because they don't have any need for it. The accent at this time clearly lies on protein, and corn contains very little of that. The breeding mix in this case is not balanced and they just waste the corn. The larger amount of corn in the mix was a total waste of money. In the second instance it was hot. Corn is an excellent source of heat. Which type of corn are we discussing? Yellow crit corn? Red French? Marano? Plato or just plain field corn? Corn varieties. There are many varieties of corn sold. The official name for corn is Zoa, which Zomazel is the best known. Corn distinguishes itself from other plants within the grass family by its manner of flowering and the manner in which it forms its seed. It is a robust annual that can grow as high as 3 to 4 meters. Types that are grown for consumption are dent corn and flint corn, waxy corn, used as a binding agent, sweet corn, as a higher sugar content, popcorn. Flour corn has a soft starch used for making chips and baked goods. Indian corn has white, red, purple and multicolored seeds. Originally this was the type of corn grown by the North American First Nations. Today it is used mainly for decoration. Corn contains on average 67% to 70% carbohydrates in the form of starch, 4% to 5% fat and 9% to 10% protein. There are somewhere between 1,000 to 1 million types of starch molecules. The combination of different types of starch molecules determines the saturation. There are fast burning types of starch and others that have an entirely different type of combustion. The first type of starch we call amylose and the second type we call amylopectin. For many years cattle farmers have been searching for a corn that gives the best saturation for animals. You can imagine that this has already cost many, many years of research. The corn grown in Bayern has for example a very good composition, because there are very many pig farmers in the area. A good corn does not necessarily have to look good should have a long chain starch combination that is the best combination for its purpose. This is all very difficult material that we had better leave to the experts. But remember, the outside of the grain doesn't tell us anything about what it contains. Indian corn is very eye-catching, but its nutritional value is low, just because it is grown and bred for its decorative value, not its nutritional value. Combustion. Humans and animals can only burn monosaccharides in the muscle cells. These are the factories that take oxygen and fuel and produce warmth and energy. The technical and difficult word for this process is phosphorylase. Enzymes catalyzed by this process break the connections alpha 1, 4. These are the fast burning carbohydrates. This process requires vitamin B6. Grains and legumes contain a lot of starch, corn, milo, oats, wheat, rice, millet, white milo, yellow and green peas. There are grains that contain a portion of amylose carbohydrates. These are called linear carbohydrates. These carbohydrates burn like a match, gradually and quite fast. Besides these there are grains that are comprised of only amylopectin. These give much more warmth because they are multi-branched like a witch's broom. Corn is one of the grains that contain only these valuable sugars. Because of the multi-branching these combust in many more places at the same time. That's why they produce more heat. 
Everyone knows that a hardwood fire burns better and longer and gives more heat than a handful of branches or a single match. It is these that are of interest for the pigeon sport. A pigeon can fly longer fast because of a better, gradual and long-lasting combustion process. The burning of fat takes much more oxygen. Fly fast longer. Can you see the race report? All of this is theory naturally. The good pigeon, in form, taking the shortest way home will win the race. That has been shown by GPS units, mounted on pigeons. Number 2, 3 and 4 in the race, what about them? What if they had the right fuel in the tank? What would the race report look like? Today it only takes seconds to win and these pigeons are top athletes. We can't leave anything to chance, can we? Corn definitely is a good pigeon food because, just like some other grains, it contains only amylopectin. Above all, we have to feed it to them when they need it, which is during the racing season, especially at the end of the week. A good race mix should contain many of the grains that contain only amylopectin. When it's cold I put on my coat and the pigeon will also require warmth, therefore feed it extra corn when it gets cold. There is enough power in corn for the races, but too little energy for the longer races, 4% to 4.4% fat. As we know a pigeon can fly only about 30-60 minutes on its carbohydrate, sugars and starch reserve. Therefore we should also feed fat-rich seeds to the pigeons. When we encounter hot weather conditions, we will have to adjust our feeding plan. Under these hot weather circumstances, if we feed at the beginning of the week according to our feed plan a mix with high corn content, the pigeons will at best only eat it for a few days. From feeding systems that I have developed for African and Asian countries, we learned how to adjust our feeding methods so that the pigeons will eat corn the last several days before the race. Corn varieties with a higher sugar content than other varieties don't exist. Don't let anyone tell you any different. But, there are varieties that have a better quality starch. To find more about pigeon sport go to www.petermulder.org